be buoyed by the performance in Australia, even though you know there's still a lot of work for these guys to do? Yes, uh, no, absolutely. Uh, I think since we put the car on the ground in, in uh, Australia, it worked very well and we had a great weekend. A lot of points for us as a team, good points for myself. Um, just a very good weekend all round, you know, for everyone, good motivation as well to kind of uh, keep us going, keep us working hard and also just uh, rewards everyone for the amount of work that's going into everything at the moment. You know, there's a lot of long hours and time getting put into developing the car and making it quicker and trying to bounce back from a tough start to the season and, uh, and bits of that are already showing. So definitely a, a nice weekend for us all. Are you encouraged by what you're seeing behind the scenes? And these, this, these days in Formula 1, you can't just bring things every weekend. It just no. doesn't work like that, does it? No, I think, um, especially with the budget cap and everything, it's, it's tough to just throw parts at it and um, hope for the best. And if it doesn't work, you kind of just have another go. You can't really do that anymore. It's about being efficient with everything and kind of almost knowing it's going to work, then yeah. putting it on the car. So it does take time and it will take time for us to take any big steps forward. Um, but I have good faith, you know, James and uh, the whole team back in the factory is working extremely hard to put a good plan in place and um, bring these upgrades and, and developments to the car. And I guess, we've, you know, we, we have had some small ones into Australia and, and into Saudi, small things allowing us to extract a bit more potential out of the car. And I think that's shown with the results we've been having. But um, we know we have stronger tracks and weaker tracks and it's about trying to eliminate those weaker ones. and and be strong there as well, which is what we need at the minute. So is this one going to be a stronger one or a weaker one, do you think? <laughs> Brilliant question. Um, I think what, what, what makes that tricky is just the weather. You know, I've not, not, not driven this car in the wet. I think a few people did manage to do a few laps in Barcelona in the wet, um, but I wasn't one of them. So yeah. I guess uh, new challenges for me and new things to explore and, and figure out with this car. But... Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, I had a good weekend here last year, so that gives me good confidence knowing that uh, I kind of know what to do in, in a way. Um, but there's many new uh, new challenges for us all and um, new opportunities, which is where we can hopefully do a better job than everyone else and, and make the most of them. And there's more points on offer for the sprint this year. Does that change the approach in any oh, way? true. I forgot it's a sprint. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Um, and decent points, you know, points which can really add up by the end of the season. So uh, crucial, I guess it's just very difficult coming to a new circuit, having a sprint where you're only a practice qualifying um, with the weather like it's looking like it's going to be, uh, if that makes sense. Tomorrow, we not we might not get much dry running, yeah. um, which is hard to then to set up the car, knowing that Sunday might be a bit dry or Saturday might be a bit dry. So difficult, I think. It's going to be a tr tricky weekend to extract the potential out of the car and figure out what the optimal balance and, and performance is from the car. Um, but everyone's in the same boat, so it's, uh, yeah, who can do a better job of that this weekend is, is gonna come out ahead.